Yes, there are indeed official LEGO Bionicle shoes, and they were made in collaboration with Nike. So in November 2002, in both Canada and the US, Bionicle and Nike, they launched these shoes. And then they debuted globally in 2003. Now the shoes featured a really cool detachable Toa Nuva mask, and the idea was that they mimic the concept of Bionicle sets having removable masks. Plus, you know, it allows you to customize the shoes to some degree. So when you bought these shoes, you'd buy the like base shoe that included Tahu Nuva Nuva's mask, and then there were five additional masks that were sold separately, and it encouraged kids to, you know, collect them all. It's funny, because these are both simultaneously the worst looking shoes ever, and also the coolest shoes in the world that would make me scream like a five-year-old child if I were to wear them. Like this back Technic area here, the style of that, it actually looks really lovely. And also these masks, they do look a little bit warped to fit the front of the shoe there, but the idea and the aesthetic? It is pretty cool. Now look, I never saw these in stores as a kid, but man, I would have loved to have owned some of these as a kid. I would love to own them now as an adult as well. But this wasn't the only Bionicle shoe that they made. They also released a Rakshi-inspired shoe. And as you can see here, they have this cool Rakshi head on the front. And of course, areas of the back have more Bionicle vibes going on. And I do quite like this bit at the top here that mimics the spine that you see on some of the Rakshi sets. Oh yeah, and the Rakshi Nike shoes include a exclusive Bionicle piece. This piece is a trans orange crater, and this is the only way that you can obtain this exclusive colorization of this piece. And what's even cooler is you could actually store this piece inside the shoe. You can see up the back here that you could place it inside. And this is of course mimicking the sets, you know, in the same way that Rakshi store their crater in their backs. Pretty crazy cool, isn't it? Now, if you want this trans orange crater, they are outrageously expensive. They go for about $1,000 each. Currently, there's four for sale on Bricklink right now, and each one is very expensive. The cheapest is 1,233 Australian dollars, which comes to about 792 United States dollars. Ridiculous, especially just for one Lego piece. And hey, the most expensive one you can buy, it comes with the crater, but you also get the shoe and the box but it does come to 1,175 United States dollars. Whew. And look, honestly, if you want these shoes, this is pretty much the only way you're gonna get them. There are none for sale on Bricklink right now. And I actively look on eBay to see if any are for sale because I really want these. It's very rare to see any of these shoes for sale. They are just not common whatsoever. It is a rare Lego set. Any of the shoes are rare Lego sets. But I did find some place that has these for sale. It's called insidetag.co.uk. They have the Rakshi shoes, as well as the Tahu shoes for sale right now. Now, I don't believe the shoe comes with the exclusive Krata, unfortunately. It is also missing the Rakshi head on the front of the shoe. Lame. But right now, this is kind of the only way you can buy these. Unfortunately, yep, they're very expensive. They are 325 euro and 350 euro which is fairly similar in price to USD. That's 345 to 372 USD. Now, be warned, I don't know how legit this website is, but this is the only example I could see of them actually being buyable and for sale. So if you do end up spending this ridiculous amount of money on a pair of shoes, go ahead, but buy at your own risk. Now, if you thought that was it for Bionicle shoes, no, there is another. There's a super cool Takanuva shoe. The gold and the black, ooh, it slaps. I think this shoe is pretty dope, I'll be honest. If I could pick one shoe that I could actually own myself, it would be this one. But tragically, in 2003, Nike decided to drop the license with LEGO because they felt it was, quote, an improper fit for its sports brand profile. <laughs> Their loss. However, Cubic secured the license in April 2004, and they made these Bionicle shoes. Yeah, honestly, they're nowhere near as cool as the original Nike shoes. Now, there is a removable mask, but I prefer the old removable mask. This one's not as cool. Yeah, the Nike shoes just hit different, you know? Although I would take that Vakama backpack. I do think that's pretty cool. If anyone out there, by the way, is like a fashion designer and they could recreate any of these products, I'd buy the absolute bejeebas out of those. Just saying. Now, there have been other LEGO branded shoes in recent times. The Bionicle shoes aren't the only LEGO shoes we've got. LEGO partnered with Adidas not too long ago in 2021, and they made a variety of shoes that could be worn. On top of that, they also made a LEGO set called Adidas Original Superstars that allowed you to build a brick-built LEGO shoe. But this was more of a display piece, you couldn't actually wear this. 
not really. Kinda, but not really. It, well, you weren't supposed to wear it. Now, it's surprising how much history there is with Lego and shoes. But honestly, these more modern shoes, they're kinda cool. The binacle ones, however, they're a little bit silly and a little bit strange. But yeah, of course, I'd wear the heck out of these if I had some. Because yeah, okay, okay they are cool. I don't know why I'm pretending they're not. But look, a shoe collab with a sub-theme of Lego that depicts masks and faces of Bionicle characters, well, you know, that's a little bit more unique and different. But an overall Lego collab that features the colours and brick textures of Lego bricks, and it's not tied down to one specific sub-theme of Lego, that's a bit more easy to believe, right? The idea of Bionicle shoes is a little difficult to fathom, but it did happen. Now, the original shoes were made in reaction to Bionicle's massive smash hit success in the early 2000s. And of course, you know, LEGO obviously wanted to continue to capitalise on that success. But they were also likely made because it fit into the target audience of Bionicle, which was defined at the time as Shredder Teens. Now where am I getting that term of Shredder Teens from? Well, at the same time that LEGO was making these Bionicle shoes, they were also sending out Bionicle vans, like these ones here. There were six vehicles in total, each made to represent one of the six individual Toa. Now they were sent out like guerrilla style to summer kid hangout locations, like skate parks, like sports camps, concerts, beaches, arcades, and comic shops. And according to a kid's screen article from 2002, I'll have a link in the description, this specific campaign was tailored to appeal to the Shredder Teen, that savvy 10 to 12 year old boy interested in multiple sports and active challenges. Well, if that was the target audience for Bionicle, that was not me. I was not a sporty kid, but I loved Bionicle. But look, the shoe subculture seemed to link in with these so-called shredder teens. And given that other marketing at the time was attempting to find ways to reach that specific demographic, well, it does seem a little bit less strange that they would actually make and sell Bionicle shoes. I say that, but it's still wonderfully weird and unique. I love it. And I hope that one day I can get a hold of a pair of these shoes. Honestly, it'd be so cool. Now, normally in these rare parts videos, I like to showcase how people use these rare pieces in LEGO creations. And, well, it's a little hard to actually use these shoes in a LEGO mock. But here's something that uses those trans orange Krata that we were talking about before. My good friend Bailey Fullerton has built this Krata Nigiri. So, I mean, it's not really much of a mock. He's just placed two of these trans orange Krata onto some rice to mimic Nigiri. But oi, it works really well. It's honestly a very clever part use. It looks just like the real thing. And while we're talking about that, here's Sushi To Go by Lewis of Nutwood. Maybe you could recreate food items like this with Lego and you could use the trans orange Krata in the same way Bailey did before, but actually build like brick built rice and other elements with Lego bricks. I've seen a lot of good brick built Lego food in the community. It looks like a really fun thing to build and if you happen to have one of these very expensive Krata, it would be a fantastic part use for exactly that. It's a good idea and honestly, the perfect way to use this magnificent, rare and very exclusive Lego piece. So there you go, the rarest Lego Krata and the incredibly rare Lego Nike shoes. Now, did you pick these up as a kid? Do you still wear them today? Do they give you more riz than you can possibly handle? Cause I mean, come on man, that Avoki drip. Let's go. Look, I'd love to hear if you still have some of these today and if they've actually held up or are they just totally worn down and you really need to throw them out soon. They'd be getting close to 20 years old at this point, let's be fair. And actually on that, do be careful with these. I did read a couple things during my research for this video of people saying that they put some brand new ones on and they disintegrated in like 15 minutes just because of the age of these things. So if you do have some and you want to wear them, be careful. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Happy building and bye for now. Also, where the heck are those Bionicle vans right now? Are they safe? Are they alright? What happened to them? I want that giant Rakshi head that's on the front of the van. I want to put that on my car. I mean, heck, I want this Bionicle van to be my car. They're so cool. Where are they?